Good evening, wherever you are on this uh, most pleasant evening. There has been a clamour to get inside the ground tonight for a much anticipated game. The uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic. The car parks are full. There is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station, and we expect every seat to be filled. An atmosphere of uh, great expectation and excitement. The Camp Nou once again decorated in the colours of Barcelona. This is what greets the players every time. Well, they call this a friendly, the crowd clearly doesn't think so, and nor in actual fact the way. Well, exhibition match sounds like an easy ozy game of football, Peter, and a picture-perfect occasion until the word pride gets a mention. And it's likely to have quite a big say between teams that could easily be sucked into an excuse for another feud. Why let an exhibition match get in the way of that? So these two will be going at it very, very strongly. We're underway. Who do you think this turns on, Jim? Yeah, David Alaba, one of the most versatile players out there. He's just got so much positional awareness and intelligence. He can basically do a job anywhere on this pitch. He's got fabulous technique too, especially with his delivery in and around the area. He'll be eyeing up any set plays the opposition concede in that defensive third. Yeah, the scourge of so many strikers. Marcelo. Marcelo goes looking. Modric. Nacho. Nacho unable to make it happen for all his good intentions. Determined run, but equally determined piece of defending. Well, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Nicely measured pass. Appearance and very necessary. And he's made sure that that won't get through. Nacho. Tony Kroos. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Philippe Coutinho. Well, both sides have actually looked poor going forward. We've hardly seen anything meaningful yet. Jordi Alba. the breakaway Vinicius Junior Vinic Vinicius Junior there it is first 
blood drawn. Well, from right in front of goal, there was no way he was going to miss. Well, he made it obvious as to where the pass should be played, Peter, and it made the finish look that bit easier. Madrid take the lead, landing the first significant blow in what is certainly a significant contest. Yeah, I think for them to get their noses in front away from home is brilliant, but these home fans will demand a response. And helps available out wide, Vinicius Junior. Lovely bit of skill there. Marcelo gets it into the middle. Cleared away. Modric goes short. Oh, that is lovely footwork. Goalkeeper's ball. Roberto. Vinicius Junior. And here's Benzema. Nacho. Looks to dink one in. Too much on it. And that's the keeper's. Jordi Alba. Casemiro can get it clear. There's one quality pass away from being a very decent chance. Very promising. Uh, that was just poor decision there. There is the half-time whistle. And there we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Not the most convincing of displays. They could certainly do much better than this. They want to keep things simple, build up their confidence, and not rush into mistakes. Start of another 45 minutes. I think they've got to go out at the start of this second half now and set a tone that smacks of intent and determination. Should they manage it, I think they can find a way back. Racho drives forward with purpose. And here's he's had a go! No mistake! Two up now, and they are cruising. Oh, what a cracking goal, but a cracking touch as well. That's what made it for me. That's brilliant play all around. Trading themselves a two goal cushion. We're looking at a very different game now. The command has been established. Marcelo did well to avert 
with the ball. That's a contest to keep an eye on out. He's got a shot out wide. And through to the goalkeeper. Just about out of the hour now. towards the centre and back out it comes and the ball's come out forward it goes oh tries a shot and the ball's come loose Saw that coming. Tony Cross. And time is up. Barcelona puffed and puffed, but in the end, no joy. That's the game. The result is what matters. And this result is cruel. So there it is. What struck you most about that? Yeah, and we know that derbies can often make predictions look silly. They can take on a, a personality of their own, and this one didn't really deserve to have a loser. Well, that's it for tonight's match, so it just remains for me to thank Jim Beglin alongside me and to wish you all 